One day, Jesus took his friends, Peter, James, and John, up to the top of a mountain. After they arrived, Jesus' appearance began to change. His face became as bright as the sun, and even his clothes started to shine. In that moment, two very important people from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible, appeared next to Jesus, Moses and Elijah. They had lived many hundreds of years before Jesus, leading the Jewish people and teaching them about God. But now they were here, talking with Jesus. When Peter saw it, he was overwhelmed and said, Can we stay here? Moses, Elijah, let me build a shed for you to stay in. Before he was even finished talking, a thick fog appeared, and they couldn't see anything. But they heard a voice that said, This is my son, whom I love. Listen to what he tells you. Then the fog disappeared. Moses and Elijah were gone, and Jesus looked normal like he did before. One day, a man brought his son to the friends of Jesus, the disciples. The boy was occupied by an evil spirit that gave him seizures every once in a while. When he had them, he fell on the ground, was shaking, and had white foam coming out of his mouth. The disciples tried to command the spirit to leave, but when they were not successful, they called Jesus. Jesus was frustrated. You people of little faith, how long do I have to be here until you finally start trusting me? When he told the demon to leave, the boy was free at that very moment. A little later, the disciples asked Jesus why they were not able to cast the demon out. And Jesus replied, Because your faith is so small. If your faith was as big as a mustard seed, you could tell a mountain to move, and it would. Trust me, nothing will be impossible for you if you believe in me. Jesus and his disciples were traveling, and he told them that he would be captured, killed, and rise again after three days. The disciples didn't understand what he meant and were too afraid to ask. One day, Jesus' friends, the disciples, were arguing. Who will be the most important in God's new kingdom? It must be me because I am always ready to do anything for Jesus. No, it must be me because he said he loves me the most. That's not true, it must be me because I always want to understand what he means. Why do you think he gave me responsibility for our money? It's because he trusts me the most. Jesus heard this and called them to him. When they were gathered around, he brought a small child to them. Look, he said, unless you change and become like this child, you will not enter God's kingdom. Whoever wants to be the greatest must become like a child and value others more than themselves. Whoever welcomes a child because they love me also welcomes me. One day, John came to Jesus because he had recognized something. Jesus, we met a man who freed people from evil spirits in your name. Should we tell him to stop doing this, as he is not part of our group? No, Jesus replied. He is not doing anything bad. Everyone who is not against us, is for us. If anybody helps you or does something good for anyone that belongs to me, God will reward him. Jesus is saying that it's very serious to lead others away from doing good. It would be better to face a big punishment than to cause someone to go astray. If something like your hand, foot, or eye leads you to do wrong, it's better to remove it than to suffer later. He also says that everyone will face challenges, but like salt, we should stay good and help each other get along.